Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a, a DHCP relay. In my previous video, I shown how to configure a DHCP server using the Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, so in this video also, I'm using a Cisco Packet Tracer tool. Uh, in this topology, you can see uh, the DHCP server. It's not directly connected in the LAN switch where the PCs are connected. So the DHCP server is located on a, a different network. Uh, you can see on the router interface this is the router interface configuration you can see uh, on gigi uh, 0 slash 0 I have uh, two sub interfaces that is uh, 192.168.10.1 and 192.168.20.1 and uh, gigi 0 slash 1 I have IP address 172.32.1.1 and uh, the DHCP server is also in the same subnet that is 172.32.1.200 so the PCs here are connected to the 192 segment and the DHCP server uh, having the 172 segment IP address so whenever um, your DHCP server located in a remote location or a different uh, network and if the local PC want to uh, get the uh, IPs uh, using the DHCP server uh, or the local router should act as a you know uh, DHCP relay agent uh, that is whatever DHCP request uh, that is coming from the PC uh, the router should forward that packet to the DHCP server so on the router uh, under this interface we have to configure IP helper address and the DHCP server IP address I'll show that configuration show run you can see under gigi uh, 0 slash 0 dot 10 that is the gigi 0 slash 0 interface that is connected to the local LAN and I have given the IP helper address 172.32.1.200 which is nothing but uh, the DHCP server IP address so that when the router gets the DHCP request hitting on this interface where the IP helper address is configured that packet will be forwarded to the DHCP server IP whatever we given in that command um, the DHCP packets are broadcast packets by default routers will not the packets uh, which are uh, broadcast right so the IP helper address command modifies that behavior um, the DHCP discovery packet for example when he hits here it will uh, forward that packet to the remote DHCP server uh, the communication between the local PC uh, uh, there is the DHCP client and the router will follow the same DORA process the destination IP will be a broadcast IP but the communication between the router and the DHCP server will be the unicast uh, communication the packet the DHCP discovery packet when it goes out from the router it will have the source IP address of the interface uh, where the request hitting here and uh, the destination will be the DHCP server IP address when the DHCP server replies the source IP will be uh, the DHCP server IP address, the destination IP address will be the interface uh, IP address which requested the, uh, the DHCP discovery process. Let's check the configuration on the DHCP server. Going to desktop and checking the IP configuration. So the DHCP server IP configuration you can see 172.32.1.200 that is the IP address and the router interface gigi 0 slash 1 will have the IP address of 172.32.1.1 and under the services under the DHCP so I have created a, a pool a server pool that is one here I have given the IP address which the PCs should get actually because the PCs uh, the default gateway is 192.168.10.1 uh, uh, so the IP address uh, for the PCs will come under this subnet 
and you can see that is the subnet I have given here. Uh, 192, 168, 10 and 10. That is the starting IP. That is starting from 192, 168, 10.10. Uh, uh, you will have maximum number of 10 IPs in that pool. That will be assigned to the PC which are requesting. So when this PC sends a DHCP request uh, and the router, since we given the IP helper address, the router will act as a DHCP relay agent and it will send that request to this DHCP server. When the server replies back, it will assign the IP address in this subnet, whatever the starting IP we given, 192.168.10.10 onwards, uh, the IPs will be assigned to this PC. And the default gateway, DNS, whatever information we given, it will be uh, sent with that uh, offer. So what I was trying to show is like the actual IP address is in a different network, but on under the services, whatever the pool, the server IP pool that we are giving um, will be as per the request, you know, because these PCs are in 192 segment, so they should get uh, that 192 segment IP address and the gateway is 10.1, which is router interface IP address. Now let's see, we'll initiate a request from the PC. I'll close this. So I'm going inside the PC1, PC1, let's see, IP config, right now there is no IP address in PC1, the IP configuration, and now I'm going to uh, request, uh, you know, um, IP address using the DHCP, and you can see it is sending the request and the DHCP request was successful. Let's try it again. Yeah, so it starts from the range 10.10 .10 and uh, yeah, 10 and 11, it's keep changing, but uh, uh, we will get IPs starting from 10.10 .10 till uh, 100 IPs, whatever we value we given. And subnet mask the default gateway 10.1, which is router interface IP address and the DNS IP. Let's check in the command prompt as well. IP config we got slash on, and you can see uh, you know what is the DHCP IP address, what is the DNS IP, the IP address we got, the gateway. So that's the procedure how you can configure a DHCP relay using the Cisco packet tracer. Uh, the only difference is that the server re resides in a different uh, network. It's not in our local LAN. And um, when the request reaches the router, in the router interface where the DHCP packets are coming, we should have the IP helper address and then the IP of a DHCP server. So the router will forward that broadcast packet and it will send the packet to the DHCP server. And the server will reply back. It will be a unicast communication. The unicast communication is between the DHCP server and the router, which is acting as a DHCP relay agent. And the communication between the router and the PC will be the normal Dora process, which will be a broadcast communication. So basically we are getting the IP in 192.168.10. network from a DHCP server which is having a different IP address altogether. So that's the procedure how you can configure DHCP uh, relay using a Cisco packet tracer on the routers. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, hit the bell button so that when I upload some new videos you will get an alert.